Great 12s, good day and welcome to today's video. It's actually the first of a series of videos where I'm going to be going through the September 2021 PREC paper. So each video that I upload in this series will be covering one question. I have put in the description a link to, um, it's actually a Google Drive link that will take you to a folder that has these files. This is your question paper. These are the memos in English and Afrikaans and then that is your data um, that's in that folder over there. Okay, so let's get stuck into today's session where we're going to be looking at question one. So let's just scroll down and I'm going to zoom in so that you know exactly what we are doing. Okay, so they want us to look at the document One World Literacy Day. So I'm going to go and open that document. Right. So there you can see we've got a table of contents, we've got some page numbers, we've got some items highlighted here, picture, okay, all that is fine, right, so that's our document, okay. So what we're going to do now, just go to our question paper, insert a cover page, that's the name of the cover page, full agree, and they want us to type in the document name and the date, but everything else they want us to delete. So this is for three marks, so let's go and do it. So this is the document as we got it. We're going to go to the insert tab. We're going to go to cover page. And then we're going to go down to filigree. Okay. We do have this one. If you don't have this, especially when it's in a test or exam session, you need to let the invigilator know um, so that you can actually still get the marks by choosing another cover page. I mean, after all, it's not your fault if it's not there. Okay. So let's click on that. We're going to put in our document title. So we click inside there and it is world literacy day the document subtitle we don't want that so we don't click inside we're going to click on the little gray um, label to it and we're going to hit delete we're going to go down we don't want the company name and we don't want the company address but we do want the date we're popping in today's date so as far as the question paper is concerned they wanted us to put in this cover page we have it they wanted us to put in the document name and date document name document date delete all other fields delete all other fields boom guys we have our first three marks well done moving on the next one the table of contents has been inserted please do the following they want us to modify the table of contents so that the headings of heading to appear so all we've got to do is click on the table of contents we're going to go to um, references from references we're going to go to table of contents do not click on these, please. We're going to go around to custom table of contents. Then we're going to go over to options. I'm just going to take this out here because it shouldn't be there. So when you open yours, you won't have anything in heading two because it hasn't been activated. So we put a number two into heading two. We click, you'll see you've got your tick there now. We click OK. We confirm that by clicking OK again. It'll ask us, do we want to replace this table of contents? We say yes. We click OK. Boom. Done. What does that mean for us? It means that we've got another two marks. So now we've got five marks within less than five minutes. OK, let's scroll down. Now, the next thing they want us to do is to edit the page numbering so that number one appears on the page after the table of contents. OK, so folks, this is something that comes up regularly, even in grade 11 papers. Um, so what I'm going to do just to, you know, clear everything up. We go to the end of the second page. Okay. This is the one before world literacy. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to get rid of the page numbers. So I'm going to remove all the page numbers there. You can see there's nothing. Okay. So let's go back. Now what I'm going to do is at the end of my second page, I'm going to, um, I'm going to go to layout. I'm going to go to breaks and I'm going to insert a section break. I'm going to use the next page one and I'm going to show you why. So we click on next page. We see there's world literacy. It's still page number three. Um, if you're not sure if it has been done, you can always go to the home tab, go to the paragraph section and click the backward facing P for the paragraph marks. And you'll see there page break and section break. Okay. So now what's going to happen is I click in page three. I'm now going to insert my page numbers and I'm going to use any bottom of the page one. Okay, let's let's just do this one. Accent bar two. Okay, so remember now I've put in my section break. That's the first thing. Then I went to page number and I just used any page number. Yeah, you can see it over here. 
there's two, there's three, and there's four, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back here and we're gonna take out link to previous so that it doesn't link to the previous section. So take that out. Then we're gonna go back to page number and we're gonna choose format page numbers and we're gonna say start at number one so that it starts with page number one on this particular page. Now have a look at that. You can see here, uh, I've just got my table of contents. I'm gonna remove out of this page Remember our page number, I'm going to remove that there. So that on World Literacy Day, on that particular page, look what happens. There's page number one. Next one, page number two, and page number three. So people, please use your section breaks um, to sort that out. That will allow you to do what we need to do. Okay, so let's go back to our question paper. Locate the paragraph under the heading, in fact, that's now what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight marks so far. Look for that paragraph. Apply a green accent six shading to the whole paragraph. Okay. So this is the one we want, right? Um, we're going to highlight all of that, right? We're going to go to the home tab. We're going to go to our paragraph section and we can go over here to borders. We're going to go to borders and shading. Then we're going to click on shading and we're going to choose the color they want green accent six there's green accent six please people the rest of them you can see it's got percentages lighter percentage darker percentage they didn't say anything like that only green accent six i click that make sure it's applying to the paragraph only click ok and there we go it has been highlighted all right so that's another two marks i'm up to 10 marks already and they want me to find the text Merriam-Webster Dictionary marked in yellow under the heading History of International Literacy Day. Right, there it is. Insert a footnote with the following explanation. So, okay, we're going to have to type that out. So, we go to references again. And we're going to go to insert footnote. And I'm just, I'm just going to type anything. Okay, this is just to show you uh, where you would be typing that information. So, in other words, this text over here will be typed out over there. Okay, and you'll see it stays there. There's a little footnote um, and everything's fine. Ensure that the footnote is below the text. That's all fine. That's another three marks. Okay, done. 1.6, find the picture figure one. Yes, we've got figure one over here. Um, they want us to adjust the size and we, they want us to move it to the right of the paragraph. In other words, they want us make it look like this okay so let's first just go and check the sizing now try and type in the size if you see it doesn't change according to that then we need to go over here we need to go to our advanced layout and we need to take the text out of lock aspect ratio and relative to original picture size if need be okay generally you'll just take the first one out but if you need to take the second one out then it's fine okay click OK and now we can type in here, let's see what it is, 3.5 by 7.5. So 3.5 by 7, no, let me change it like this. There we go, 3.5, and they want 7.5. Okay, so already that, I have the marks for that over there. Then we want to go to wrap text, and we want to use either tight or, you know, through. It doesn't matter, you know, whichever one we want. Um, but our position, they wanted us to move it to the right. So we can just move it over like that. That should be fine. And if figure one doesn't move over, we can always just um, delete that. And I can just click on my picture um, and I can go to insert caption. So references, insert caption pop in figure one click OK and there you can see I'm just gonna move that up just gonna move this down so just like that I've now got my three marks for having that layout okay hope we're all together so far right next one locate the placeholder one marked in blue that's this one over here and they want us to edit the placeholder by inserting the following source so the way we're going to do this is when we click on it, you can see we've got a little down arrow here. We can do that and we're going to edit 
the source. Okay, the type of source they've told us here is a book. So I'm going to choose book. And have they given us the author? No, but they've given us the book title and they told us it's published in 1973. So I'm just going to practical guide to functional literacy. Practical guide to functional literacy. Okay. So we've put that in with the info that we that we actually have over here and we are going to click OK. All right. And there we go. Um, our placeholder has now changed according to the info that we put in. OK, if I need to edit it again, I can always go back to edit source. Um, and again, tag name, you can change the tag name again, whatever, you know, they they want you to do that is where you will do it okay so that's sorted let me go down 1.8 emphasize all the occurrences of the word literacy by making the words bold only literacy in lowercase must be changed so what are we going to do we want to go to find and replace okay uh, we want to go to our more options here well, what do we want to find we want to find literacy and then we want to replace it. Hang on, let me just check what are they saying. Um, they want it in bold. Okay, and they want it replaced with literacy. However, they want us to make it bold. So we're going to go to format. Uh, we're going to go to font. We're going to say uh, we want to make it bold. And there you can see there's a preview. We click OK. And we want to replace all. Make 12 replacements done and there you can see all the words that contain literacy or the word literacy themselves um, that has been changed to bold all right next one set the orientation of only the second last page to landscape so again here we're going to use our section breaks let's see this is our last page so it's this one so generally we put in a section break before and we put in a section break at the end of that particular page. And this should allow us then to change the orientation of just this one page. However, do you see what happens? Right? So I've got those two. And that's probably just because the one's gone slightly over. Okay, we can always get rid of that page and there you can see Let me just go in here All right and there we go so we've got our ported pages there's our one landscape page and the other ported again this is why this is because we put in our section bricks Uh, locate the table under the heading International Literacy Day Dates and modify as follows. So where's the table? This is the one. And we've got, you see the minute I click on it, what happens? We've got table design and we've got layout. Okay. So they want us to apply a grid table for accent six style. So a grid table four. And again, we have to go and look through this grid table one. Okay, grid table four, accent six, that's the one. Um, edit the style to align text horizontally and vertically. So all we need to do from here, um, we will look at our layout. We just need to go here to alignment and make sure everything is lined up both horizontally and vertically. And once we've done that, everything is fine. We've got our three marks and we're done. Then they tell us here, use a word processing feature to count the number of words in the document starting from the heading. What is World Literacy Day? Up to the end of paragraph 4.5. So basically from here, they want us to count the words all the way up to World Literacy Day. Okay, so all we're going to do is we're just going to highlight. We're going to highlight everything here. We're going to highlight all these words. Um, let me just 
just take it from here. Oh, went too far. Over there. And have a look at that. There it tells us. 742 words of the 834 that's in the entire document. Okay? And that we'll put in there to say, what's it? 742. And folks, that's it for question one. That is our 27 marks. You can see it didn't take us that long. Okay? So um, I hope this helps you with question one. Go through it, familiarize yourself, and um, we'll carry on in our next video where we look at, it's still Word, but we're looking at question one.